morning. My name is Rosemary Sperry, and it is my honor and privilege to speak for a moment about my husband, Rand Sperry. Rand is the most generous person I've ever met. He is the father of our six children and grandfather to two. Rand is the founder of Sperry Van Ness Commercial Real Estate and Sperry Commercial Family of Companies. On the surface, I could list the groups and charities, organizations that Rand belongs to, but Rand does more than just belong to a group. He dives in and that group becomes part of him, which I think makes him unique. You might think that someone who accomplishes so much must be spreading himself thin, but just the opposite is true for Rand. I'm sure all these groups feel that they are the only one that Rand belongs to. Rand just gets up every morning and doesn't stop until it's all done. If I had to describe Rand in one word, I would say he is consistent. Consistent in work, exercise, friendships, parenting, mentoring, and love. Rand never seems to falter. If he says he'll do something, he does it and does it well. You will rarely see Rand without a smile on his face. Although Rand belongs to so many charities and diocesan boards, he always has time for his family. When our children were growing up, he was at all the soccer and baseball games, tennis matches, parent meetings, and home in time for dinner. He started on the school board when our oldest son was in the first grade and continued on every board possible until they had all graduated. Rand and I always believed that a school was not completely responsible for our children's education. So in the midst of running companies and belonging to numerous organizations, Rand and I always took the time with all the kids every year to travel extensively helping them to realize that this little microsphere called Orange County is not what the world is all about. Rand works hard, but takes the time to laugh contagiously, love unconditionally, pray faithfully, to help anyone, inspire everyone, and be a true friend to so many. Rand is an amazing man, and I know he is humbled, yet thrilled by this honor today. Rand usually gets recognized for raising his six kids with his wife, Rosemary. Most people don't know that he's raised and mentored many more in business like myself. When I first joined Sperry Van Ness 26 years ago, I was a young kid fresh out of college working my first real job where I got to wear a tie. Little did I know I had just met someone who would end up being a mentor, business partner, and lifelong friend. Rand is a person with a strong moral compass. He never lets business or making money get in the way of his ethics, something that is rare in today's business world. He's been remarkable at balancing family, faith, and his business life, never letting success and financial goals compromise his ethics or his dedication to family. I've watched him fire top producers without blinking an eye after discovering a lapse in ethical behavior, which is all too common in the real estate brokerage business. He really tries to handpick his staff and brokers, always emphasizing ethics first in the workplace. The problem today is that so many business behaviors are legal but not necessarily ethical. Over the years, Rand has taught me to keep my faith in the forefront of my business life. That it's okay to let your conscience be your guide in making decisions. He's taught me that giving back is equally important as being successful. Rand sits on many boards, donates much time to nonprofit organizations, and clearly leads by example. On Thanksgiving, you can find him down at the shelter in Santa Ana giving out turkey dinners to the homeless. At work, you'll see him feverishly explaining to our CFO why he blew the budget on the company's charity allowance, yet again. Every year, he dedicates a week of his life and much more time in preparation, taking terminally ill people to Lourdes in France hoping and praying for a miracle. And after hearing the stories, I can assure you that that trip is no vacation. The boards and committees he sat on are too many to mention, but include the Boy Scouts of America, the Christ Catholic Cathedral Facilities Corporation, the Diocese of Orange Land Board, the Orange Catholic Foundation, 
the Marriott Ocean Club, the Order of Malta, Santa Margarita Catholic School, and UCI Mind, raising money and awareness for Alzheimer's. Rand may be best known for co-founding Sperry Van S and helping thousands of families become financially successful, but I know him for his big heart, being a great family man, giving back to the community, and having moral and ethical standards that all business leaders should strive for. I'm proud to introduce this year's co-honoree for the Bishop's Award for Exemplary Business Integrity, my friend and mentor, Rand Sperry. Well, first off, it's very rare that I get to be on a stage and actually be the tallest person on the stage. Anyway, I want to thank Rosemary and, and Burton for doing such a great job on that video. I, I almost started to cry when I saw that, listened to that. So thank you so much. And Bishop, thank you for the, for the honor. And as you've seen with Marie Gray and many of our honorees, all of our honorees prior to that, they're just amazing people. So it's, it's hard to feel deserving of this award. And I really don't feel deserving of it, but um, I do have a little arthritis, and I don't think I deserve that either, so <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, there's two other people I would like to thank. Uh, they couldn't be here today. Uh, apparently, there's a heavy traffic between Heaven and Orange County. Uh, it's my mom and dad, Ray and Grace. Uh, and I thank them because they were the ones that made the decision back in the 60s to send me to Catholic grade school and Catholic high school. And as it is today, it was a sacrifice for many, many families back then as well. And they said, no, you've got to go. I want you to have a good education. And I also need you to learn to be a good, religious, moral, and ethical person. I mean, they didn't tell that to me when I hit first grade, but I realized that's why they wanted me to go there. So I had a lot of energy as a, a little guy and they knew it had to be channeled correctly, so off to Catholic school I went. And uh, it was interesting because I, I, I look at it as the three Ds, discipline, more discipline, and do the right thing. That's kind of what I learned in, in Catholic schools. I mean, I learned a lot more, but that's what I kind of took with me. And discipline is important because I get out of line a little bit, okay, maybe a lot, and, uh, and they'd put me back in line, and, and I bet I probably cleaned more erasers than anybody in this room after school. And so it really helped. And then there's self-discipline, and that is making sure that you do for yourself, that you work hard, work smart, and don't count on anyone else but yourself to make things happen. And don't expect handouts. You have to work for what you're going to get. And that really was ingrained to me from first grade through 12th grade. And it's very important to, to get that kind of grounding early on. And then probably the most important thing is you know, doing the right thing. That was the third thing. And I know Wing Lam, I think, talked about that in his talk. And it's kind of funny because Wing you kindly said that, you know, if they don't know the right thing, then, you know, I don't want to do business with them. And the fact is, is that you don't know the right thing. You need to learn it. You need to understand it. Because I have trained many, many hundreds, or probably thousands of, of uh, people in the brokerage business. And when I would ask questions, they get the wrong answer from time to time. They didn't know the right thing. And so I feel that the Catholic schools really helped me through that and understand that. And, and, and so I'm very grateful for that part of my life. The first company that I, I, I started, I co-founded in 1987, was under the idea, because there was so much competition, you think of C.B. Richard Ellis, there was Grubbin Ellis, there's Colliers, and so on, and starting a commercial real estate company in Orange County seemed like a monumental task. The key thing that I did there that I felt really helped us get a leg up on our competition was the fact that I wanted to bring a good culture to the organization, one that was morally and ethically right, that did the right thing, because in our business, there's lots of opportunity to be unethical. And so we created core covenants, and Burton came on very early on in the company there and helped us with this. And 
it was really the thing I think that attracted so many people to the organization. And between Sperry Van Ness, now Sperry Equities and, and Global, there's probably 15, 1,600 people today working there, but many, probably another couple thousand that have gone through the company in the last 28 years. And they all live by those guidelines. And we grew this from two people to a national real estate company by having those core covenants that I feel I learned back in grade school and high school at Catholic school. So that's why I'm very involved in it and I think it's a very important thing uh, that we are here today to support that. In just a few moments, the, you will probably, uh, they will come up and ask you to donate for those that haven't donate. And I want you to think about it, pray upon it, and dig deep into your pockets. And if you haven't already, and please give just enough for it to hurt. That's all, just a little bit. I'd appreciate that because it really does make a difference in these children's lives that we're supporting here through scholarships. And who knows, maybe one day, one of these children will be up here to accept this award. So thank you. Appreciate it.